Hey right, guys, I'm gonna be doing a heat check on this burn on boiler we installed in uh I think it was two years ago. But uh she's a big old boy down in the old basement. Big piping. And it was a beast to get down here. Remember we had to have like four or five guys help us get it down these old old stairwell here. We put down big planks of wood and rolled it down that way. And then the old one was even harder getting out, but it was a nice install. I'm just going to show you what I do for steam boiler uh, heat check. Basically, ain't much to it. This basement gets a lot of a lot of water. The foundation is leaking. It's been raining for about a day, day and a half now, off and on. But we uh, dug this sub pump deeper. The foundation's still leaking. Just as long as it's dry over there, that's all they really care about. But. Let me get into this and I'll show you what I do. It has a uh, an automatic feed with a bypass we always put in. So the cold water comes in this way. You got your backflow preventer here. Water goes into this way, down, and into the boiler feed there, which eventually fills up and goes in this way. That's your low water cutoff, sight glass, your, um, your gauge, your pressure trolls up there, transformer. There's nothing really much to these things. Let me take off this, show you the inside real quick. Get yourself a relay there. Yeah, 2014. Yeah, that's right. Two years ago we installed it. The IN9, Burnham, and the BTUs. Where the hell is that at? Uh, I am not seeing it right this second. But anyway, electronic ignition and your burner compartment. Give it a little wipe down, cleaning is not much to do. I think it's 280,000 BTUs, if I'm right. Yeah. Alright, so I just put the power on. Damper opened. We've got ignition. Slow close valve. You open up and then get it higher a few seconds later, which it is doing right now. What I'm going to do is over here we have the drain. I'm going to simulate this thing losing water and making sure first the low water cutoff activates and then the automatic feed refills it. That's the most important thing. You never want a steam boiler to run dry. And this also does another thing is it, it flushes it out. As far as any dirty water. Kill two birds with one stone. So once this water man, it's cobwebs. Once this water level gets below this probe or about here. Burner should kick off. This should activate.
Yeah, now it's coming out a little milky. Chunk of milk. Almost there. I might have to turn it off and empty this real quick. Give me one second. All right. I don't think we've been back to service this last year. At least it wasn't me personally. There you go, and activated. That's engaged. Close this. Make sure we may let it. Yeah, let me close it. I'll drain it more after I'm done showing you this. Damper should close. will 24 volts this will activate and send voltage to here to the solenoid inside here and allow water to feed back in depending on where it's set it will determine how much gallons to put in and um, whether it will fire back up yeah let me drain some more There's the feed. Not the quietest things in the world. about where the probe is. That will stop the stop blinking once it senses the water. Boom. Now of course it didn't get up to where I like it as far as I put a mark that that's usually where you want it. Um, but that's because I drained it so much. Once it's or doing normal operations, it will maintain in between there. Of course, when it gets hot, um, it's lower than it should be, but once it, the radiators and the steam uh, cool off, the, some of that water drains back into the boiler from uh, the f up, this two floors upstairs. <sighs> so, uh, I'm going to turn this off and flush it more, and I'll get back All to you. What I can do it. is I turn the power off to the boiler. I'll try to drain as much as this dirty water out, and then I'll manually open the water feed and introduce fresh water into it. Help push it out and clean it a little bit. You're never going to get it completely clean, um, especially if it's been sent for two years, but it helps. I drained it pretty good. I'm uh, manually refilling, doing it very slowly. That's another thing you got to be careful of. If you drain all the hot water out, it's, if it was really hot um, to begin with, and then you drain all that hot water out and you introduce the cold water because the way it's piped in, it's piped in with cold, not the hot water from the hot water heater. You do not want to crack the heat exchanger. Well, I was always taught that, and, and um, don't know if it's true or not, but. So, you don't want to crack that, that heat exchanger, but you do it slow. Now I'll, uh, I'll introduce the water about up to there. Um, another thing I'm probably going to end up doing is, you always want to clean, clean the pigtail. This is called a pigtail here for the pressure troll. Got to make sure that is uh, clear and functioning. Um, I already checked the drain, that is working. 
check the low water cutoff now I'm matter feet that is working um, on all the boilers dirty boilers I'll take these apart take these two out to get to the sight glass then take the nut out and actually clean the sight glass stick a paper towel down there usually use this as a <coughs> as a poker uh, wrapped with a paper towel to clean the sight glass and then you can take these out and stick these rods in there to clear them out because they do get clogged over time but this being brand new um, don't need to go through all that you can see the water is a little bit murky and dirty right now that will go away once it settles again as I said before you can't get this thing completely clear you never never ever do that so and then give it a good wipe down and, and check everything else alright well got it all wiped down and cleaned pigtails good cleaned uh, sight glass is fine. What I did notice was when this thing shuts down uh, by the thermostat, the, the damper back there it does not close. It just stays still. Um, there's two different settings. There's automatic and there's uh, manly, manually open, which would stay open no matter what. Um, automatic is supposed to close when the, when the thermostat satisfies um, or if the pressure gets too high. That damper will close um, until there's a call for heat and reopen. Um, that damper is for efficiency reasons. It will keep the heat in the boiler and keep the heat exchanger hotter longer for next time to fire up rather than it being open and um, a lot of heat that's escaping through the, uh, the flue out the chimney. So we're going to take care of that. It's probably under warranty. It's no big deal. Just uh, a wire. <clears throat> which runs here and into this box um, I don't have that on a truck it's 8 inch it's not something we keep in stock but I could definitely get it so let my office know about that let them know about that but other than that everything is it's in pretty de decent shape um, this facility is, is an office building and they um, not get into much detail, but they get um, inspected by the state. So it's a requirement to get the boiler checked and serviced and uh, documented that it was done. So that's pretty much why I'm here. And at the same time, I was checking the sub pump because it is raining out. I dumped some of that dirty water in here. Um, again, if it's super hot, you do not want to dump it into a sub pump pit. The motor world it can damage the motor as far as the, the hot very hot water but she's good battery backup i tested gotta plug it back in and i'm using it for my drop light and uh yeah so that's pretty much it for now probably not going to be able to record that repair because i come back um probably a different day but that that's a quick run through of how to service a steam boiler there's nothing much to it the main thing is you want to make sure that the low water cutoff is working if it has an automatic feed because some old boilers do not they have manually which people have to come down you know say once a week and refill it um, but that's very important because if it dry fires it will crack the heat exchanger this thing has two headers I'm going to go upstairs and make sure all the radiators are getting warm. Alright guys, hope you liked it.